Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are assuming things. It's a really popular trend here on YouTube just now to do an assumptions video. So basically I asked you guys on Instagram to assume things about me. The results are in and they're very interesting. I've got a bunch of makeup in front of me so I'm going to do my makeup at the same time. I'm not going to really talk about the makeup too much uh, but I will link everything that I use down below. I guess other than that let's get let's get into it. If you'd like to watch me do some makeup and respond to your assumptions then please stay tuned. Right, let me just go. So basically what I've done is I've screenshotted a bunch of your assumptions, I guess. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go through them. Okay, so quite a lot of the assumptions, there was more than one person saying the same thing. A lot of you guys have, have, similar, have similar thoughts. And a lot, which I find quite surprising, a lot of you guys think that um, me and Jack don't want children. We do want children. We would love children uh, one day. I say one day because I don't really know what the timing for us looks like. And at the same time that uh, some of you guys were saying that we don't want kids, a lot of you guys are saying we do want children. A lot, a lot of you are assuming that we do want children and in the next year. Um, I would say maybe not the next year. I think that's a bit soon, but we'll see what happens. Oh, interesting. Someone said, you always knew you would marry Jack. Um, <laughs> I think I can say safely that I always loved Jack since the first time I saw him. Uh, it was, it was a kind of classic love at first sight moment, I guess. Um, I was always quite obsessed with him. Uh, whether I knew I would marry him, I suppose if he told young me that we'd end up married, it's probably like a dream come true. Which it is. Being married to Jack is a dream come true. I suppose I can always knew he was the one. Can I just say, I'm using double wear. Double wear foundation. Such a good foundation. I'm using the shade Tawny, by the way, which is not what I used to wear. I used to wear a shade that was a lot darker. I like to be very tanned. Someone has said, you're quite smart and got good grades. Thanks very much. I guess I can say yes for the first year uh, in Scotland, what we do, I know it's changed already, but we did standard grades and then we did hires. So standard grades are the kind of first bout of exams you get in high school and then we do hires. And then standard grade, I did good. I got five ones and three twos, which is like five of the best mark and then three of like the second best. Uh, so I guess it was quite good. And then I discovered um, boys and house parties and my hires, uh, I did not work hard enough for them at all. I got an A, two B's and a C, which is not bad, but I definitely could have applied myself more, but I was busy doing other things. <laughs> a lot of you guys are very interested in money. Very. Like, I'm, probably I would say most of the questions I've got are about money. Someone, someone said, you're really rich. <laughs> Me and Jack are so, so lucky to feel comfortable. Like, I, I remember, you know, when we started, we, we, basically when me and Jack were together at the start, we were not rich whatsoever. We kind of lived pay, like paycheck to paycheck, like like just like normal. But I do remember when I started doing this job and I started doing a little bit better money-wise, I remember going to the supermarket and being able to, you know, get like kind of get what we wanted, not having a budget. And that was like the best, best moment ever. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I could get like daily dunkers, which are £3.50 now, which is very expensive. I couldn't believe that I could get, I could just buy them if I wanted. I would say that me and Jack are so lucky to feel comfortable. Uh, we can pay our bills. We can also save. I don't know if I would say we're rich though. I think rich is a really blanket term, but I, I would say at this moment in time, we're really lucky to be doing well. We managed to have the wedding that we wanted, things like that. So we're definitely rich in aspects of our life. I'm trying to pick ones that are quite different, but so many of you guys were saying like similar, really similar things. So I'm trying to just answer the most kind of popular ones, I guess. A lot of people were saying, like contradicting things. Like I've got a message here saying that you're actually really shy until you get to know people properly. I actually asked my mum and dad this, uh, what they thought, and I would say no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a shy person. Yeah, I really enjoy getting to know people. I'm not shy to kind of go up to people and just start speaking to them. Yeah, I would say I'm not, I'm not shy. And then, <laughs> Someone literally the message above that is you are a very confident person. I think so. I think I think I am. I think it really depends on what what we're speaking about. It's so interesting because I am really I am confident in some aspects of my life. I'm I'm confident in myself, which is why I suppose I can go up to people and just start speaking to them. I'm confident meeting new people. Whenever we go on like a press trip, I don't really ask who's going to be there. Even at the start, I wouldn't really ask because I would just you know I would turn up and make friends. <coughs> 
a lot of people were just really nice um, and I don't feel like I can answer these questions because it's a bit like stroking my ego if you know what I mean so <laughs> so thank you uh, if you if you asked me a question and you were just really nice thank you very much oh someone said you actually prefer much more basic makeup looks totally depends on how I'm feeling that day to be honest I think that right at the start of my kind of YouTube and Instagram career. I would do crazy makeup because I wasn't a super busy person. Uh, I was busy working. I had two jobs when I first started doing my YouTube. And then when I started my Instagram, I was at college and had a job as well. So what I would do, was that was like my fun thing to do, if you know what I mean. I would get up and I would do a really fun makeup and then go to work and I would take pictures of it and then and that's kind of how we did it. But these days, quite a lot of what I do just calls for me to get up and get ready. And then when I'm doing that, I've kind of got my go-to look that I really love that is more basic. So I, I totally see how it could look like that. Actually, recently, what I've started doing, which I find really fun, is at night time, once I've finished my day of work, I'll sit down and I'll play with makeup again, which is exactly what I first used to do when I started YouTube. So I'm really enjoying that. And I'm actually doing, I suppose, a little bit more of a kind of fun makeup today in front of you for this video. I've got my wee phone here with all my messages. This one was really interesting to me. I would say more than maybe 10 people said that I grew up wealthy. No, I did not. What I will say is that I was really lucky. I had a really lovely childhood. My mum and dad are really great people. Our house that I grew up in at the end, we kind of moved about a little bit when I was younger. My house that we ended up like our proper family home, technically we probably couldn't have afforded it as a family. So my mum learned how to renovate it. Like she did it all herself. Like she built the walls, she plumbed the toilet. Like my mum really did teach me the value of hard work. Uh, so I didn't grow up rich. If anything, it was probably closer to the other side. I never really, but then my mum and dad were so good with money that I never wanted for anything or I did want for stuff but I got taught to work for it um, and I got taught that you can you can kind of make whatever for yourself because that's exactly what my mum did. She got our family home and she completely renovated it and made it into the most beautiful house. Like she got our whole kitchen from eBay. So she's smart, like she is so smart. She's just really resourceful and she managed to make a lot out of not that much. So yeah, we definitely were not wealthy. Okay, here's another one about kids. I think kids are on the brain at the moment for everyone. You would like kids in the next five years? Um, I would say yes. I'm 27 now, so five years would be 32. Yeah, that would be great. <clears throat> I think one thing that we can all take from all the amazing, you know, pregnancies and videos that are going about right now is that you can you can want to be pregnant and want to get pregnant, but you really don't know what's in front of you. You don't know what your path's going to be like with that. So it's easy for me to sit here and say, yes, I'd love to be pregnant, but we just don't know. We don't know what, what's for us, what our path looks like. But I will say yes, that would be great. I have one here that says, you won't do YouTube forever. I think at the moment, what I can say is I, for my foreseeable future, I can see me doing YouTube. And that I think is really because when I started doing YouTube, it wasn't for a job, it was for fun. It was a hobby that turned into a job, which is you know, one of the most amazing things ever. But I do think I, me and Jack so love documenting our life, especially with the vlogs and stuff. And I love sharing makeup with you guys and just having fun. So I think that I don't know what my future looks like, but I can always see me being, being present for you guys and sharing stuff online. So I would never say never, but I would never say forever, you know? But I like to think that I'm going to be here be here for a while. I need highlight. Look, I'm gonna do this highlight. I'm very excited. Whoa, whoa! Here is one that says, very close to your parents. Um, absolutely. Uh, and another assumption that I've seen is that you guys are assuming that I'm an only child. You're completely correct. I am an only child and I am very close to my parents. And I'm just so lucky I ended up with such a such a great family. My whole family actually is pretty amazing. A lot of you guys think I'm fun on a night out. Uh, I guess so. I definitely used to be. I'm getting on a bit now. I, I really saved myself. We were, I was joking about this. When like when we started travelling again and stuff, I don't think I'll be quite as wild as I used to be. Who knows? I say that and then you'll see in the next travel vlog that I'm hanging at my ass. I'm going to do a fun purple eye makeup using the Juvia's Place palette. This is the 
Masquerade Mini. And there's just some really nice tones in here. So I'm gonna use a bit of a transition and then go in with a purple and do a shimmery eye. And I'm gonna do it quite big, I think. A little nod to the grunge you said. You genuinely love filming for YouTube and never feel the pressure to film. Love you guys. Thank you very much, love you too. I would say yes and no. I think that's due to, you know, external factors. Sometimes, if you saw my vlog actually last week, I, sometimes I struggle to know what to film, especially because I don't, like, it's just such a weird time, like, right now. If you know what I mean, like, YouTube actually is kind of, I don't know, going nuts. <laughs> I find it a little bit overwhelming sometimes when there's just like like chaos but I know that a lot of you guys are so, they, you just love the chilled vibes I guess. Sometimes I get nervous to film. This is a funny thing. So I'm a, I'm a, I am feel like I'm a confident person. I'm not that shy but I do get quite nervous. Sometimes if I've not filmed in a while and I sit down I'm just like it's only when I'm sitting here. See when I'm vlogging I never feel like that. I don't know why, I think it's because it's a small camera, but when I get set up and I, and I set all this stuff up, sometimes I can feel like I'm starting to get nervous. It's the weirdest thing. I also, I find it quite daunting. And I feel like so what can happen sometimes is I rush. So that's, I think actually, I've been really thinking about this, it's getting a bit deep you guys, but I think that that is a, a huge reason why quite a lot of my makeup looks are a bit more toned down. And then on Instagram, I really experiment with makeup and it's because I don't love experimenting on camera. I like to have a really clear idea of what I'm doing. Otherwise, I guess I get stressed, but let me know if that's actually something that you guys wouldn't mind. But I could absolutely try filming, doing a little bit more of a kind of fun makeup, I guess. So many are the same thing. So I saw a lot of assumptions that me and Jack will never leave Scotland. And then I saw a lot of assumptions saying that we're going to move to London or LA. At this moment in time, yeah, I can't see us leaving Scotland. I love Scotland so much. And we're so lucky that we get to travel and we really love traveling as well. So for work, we find ourselves in London quite a lot. LA as well, like we've been to LA quite a lot for events and stuff like that. We're really lucky with it that way. At one point, we were thinking about moving to LA. And honestly, it's kind of more to do with the weather than anything else. Uh, <laughs> but no, I really don't think that we will end up moving. Thinking big here, guys. One day I would love to have like a, another place, like somewhere, like I'd love to have our base in Scotland always, our house in Scotland, our family in Scotland. But it would be so amazing to have somewhere else to go and live. Sometimes, like imagine you were down in London for a whole month and you had your own place, or LA for a whole month and you had your own place. That would be, that would be super cool. Oh God, I guess I'm doing a spotlight eye, okay. Yeah, talking about kids and stuff, I think I can definitely see us raising our children in Scotland. I really loved my childhood in Scotland, plus it's, there's just, there's a lot of great things about it. You and Jack never fight. Uh, so, me and Jack probably fight every day, but it's funny. Uh, we bicker, we bicker like nothing else, and I've got a really bad, <laughs> I've got a really bad habit. We, we raise our voices at each other, and then we'll get mad at each other for raising our voices. But we always make up like literally five minutes later, and it's never serious. I think that me and Jack have maybe had an eight and a half years serious, serious arguments, maybe like three, three or four of them, maybe. But we do bicker all the time, like Charlotte, a lot of you guys know Charlotte who is one of my best friends who works with me as well. She She's like the mediator sometimes between me and Jack. We've both got quite strong personalities, so that's why that happens I guess. But it's never bad, it's, it's like, and obviously there's that rule that we've got that a lot of people have and it's just never, never go to bed angry and then, and then you're, you'll be absolutely fine. It's funny, especially see when we're filming that TV show. That was actually, the, that was, there were some arguments in there for sure. But we, we do mostly, me and Jack mostly just have fun, if I'm honest. It's a very, we're both quite easy going people. Making others happy makes you happy, absolutely. I am a emotional sponge. And that's honestly, that's why sometimes I can't really be around uh, negative people. I know a lot of people are the same. I find it really difficult being around, honestly, maybe not nice people. That is actually another reason I love Jack so much is because he is like, to his core, he is a really kind person. Like he has never, he has never called me a name. I have called him so many names and he has never called me something like nasty. He's just a really kind person. I think that's one of the reasons that I love him so much. Making other people happy makes me happy. Being around like-minded, happy people makes me happy. If someone that I love is in a bad way and they need help, then that'll make me sad, but I'll try and help, you know? It's one of those things. I think it's super common, to be honest. This is like a super soft 
spotlight eye because the center is actually not that different a color. You were shy when you were younger. I asked my mum, she says no. Uh, she said that I was a balance of being a confident little girl, but not oh, like overly confident, if you know what I mean. Happy to meet new people, but I was still, you know, I was just like a normal little girl, I guess. So no, I was not shy. I suppose there was a period of time in school, like the first three years of high school, that I didn't find great. Yeah, I kind of ended, I accidentally ended up get, being, I don't know, I suppose a bit of a loser. Everyone thought I was a bit of a loser. People weren't very nice to me, but no, I was pretty, I was pretty confident still. But yeah, apart from those three years at high school, I suppose. Wow, that's such a good color, isn't it? You were naughty in school. Ugh. No, no, I was a bit of a teacher's pet actually. I was definitely more of a kind of teacher's pet with my art teachers and stuff because that was like what I just loved. I'm quite competitive so I really like being the best. <laughs> Which is not, I don't know if that's a good trait or not. In some aspects it's good, some aspects it's annoying. <laughs> in PE, we had a swimming pool in my first, in, in our school. That sounds posh, it was not posh, it had like, it was gross, it was so gross. But because my dad taught me how to swim from a really young age, I was a, a, I was a really confident swimmer. I would always get asked to do the demonstrations for the class. And I, when I tell you I thrived off of that, there was one day that I slept in for school and it was on the day of swimming and I cried because I was so gutted because I was so good at swimming and I liked being able to show off. That, how, that's actually, that's, that's not nice. <laughs> Someone said, I assume you did art in school and I've always been brilliant at drawing. Um, I really loved art. I've not drawn in a long time apart from on my face. So I don't even know if I'm any good anymore, but I was, I was pretty good. I got an A for art. Oh, Jack was your first serious boyfriend. Uh, no, he was not. I had, I had a previous boyfriend. Uh, did I have just one? I can't, I can't honestly even remember. See, because me and Jack have been together for eight and a half years, I just can't even remember anything before. But when I have to really think about it, yes, there have been others. Ja definitely had to kiss a few frogs before I got to Jack, unfortunately. You're hilarious and a liability when you're drunk. Uh, yes, can be. I go, yeah, it's just fun. It's just good fun. Oh, someone said, you're never in a bad mood. No, I can be in a bad mood. How do I explain this? I think I'm quite a sensitive person. And it really depends on how, how, and what day you get me. This eye looks quite sweet. I like it. Someone said, you do your skincare every day? Yes. Yes, I do. I never used to, actually. I actually used to be quite bad. See, if you look at my old videos, my skin wasn't great. I used to use wipes on my skin. Like, my diet was pretty bad and stuff. I just, honestly, I didn't really look after myself that well. Oh, here we go. I was looking for a saucy one for you guys, because I know that you'll want this. You don't like a lot of the beauty community on YouTube. <laughs> I do, I actually, I've got some really amazing friends uh, that I've made here on YouTube. But obviously at the moment there's like a, there's a big drama going on. I'm not gonna lie, I've been binge watching Money Heist. So I missed a lot of it, uh, which I'm not upset about whatsoever. There's just, there's bigger things happening in the world than gurus fighting. That being said, I am, um, I actually have so much love for the beauty community on YouTube. I think that even though it's all kind of kicking off, there's a lot of people sharing amazing people to follow. And honestly, I just think I try and live my life without any kind of hate in my heart whatsoever because it's just, it's only, it's only gonna hurt me. Yeah, I really don't dislike anyone. Like I said, actually do I want? No, I don't want wings. The majority of the beauty community is really brilliant. Really brilliant and so talented and really down to earth. Most of these people are normal people that have ended up doing this job because of their passion. It's not like people that start out saying, I'm gonna be a social media influencer. You know, the love isn't there for me. Uh, I think the, the majority are really good people in here have, done, have ended up doing this by accident and and those are the people that I, I really can, you know, vibe with because I know that they've got here, they've, they've got to where they are from, from working really hard and being good people and, you know, building up trust because of their reviews and things like that, you know. Oh, someone said you'd be lost without Jack. Uh, yeah, totally, totally. He's um, so important to me. Obviously, he's my husband. Yeah, Jack's, Jack is the best. Overall, I think the most important thing is just how funny he is and how carefree he is. He really reminds me to, you know, be be more like that as well. You're a lot, <laughs> you're more snobby about clothes and makeup than you let on. I do like the finer things in life. I've always been like this. I've said it before and I don't want to end up repeating myself because I sound like a broken record. 
but ever since I was young and when we didn't have much like money, like me personally, uh, I would so much rather save up over a few paychecks and buy one thing than go and buy like loads of cheap stuff. I just like nice things. I'm not sorry about it. You were a tomboy as a kid. Uh, yeah, pretty. No, I was kind of like a medium. I'm on it. I've always been like this. Part of me wants to, you know, wear, I don't know, boy clothes and just chill, but with a full face of makeup on. I think I'm still kind of like that. Yeah, it really just depends on how I feel that day. Oh my God, I don't know if you guys have seen the video of Jack calling me a wee guy. <coughs> Yes, definitely was a tomboy when I was young. I liked going out to play, I liked going on adventures. I never really played with Barbies or anything like that. I would all, I actually, but I did like Pokemon cards. Someone said, do you know where's your favorite? <sighs> I don't have favorites, they're my children. I actually don't have a favorite. Me and Jack talk about this all the time. We love them both the same. And maybe we get, you get really different things from Juno and Drogba. If you get love off Drogba, it's a special thing because he's quite aloof. Whereas Juno, she loves everyone, so it doesn't really mean it doesn't mean anything when she gives you a cuddle. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of answering other questions with the previous questions that someone said that you find it easy to talk to new people. Uh, absolutely, and one of my favourite things is meeting uh, you guys. So I suppose to me you're new people-ish, but to you I'm not a new person. So that's what makes it so special. I think I actually find it really fun meeting new people that already know me a little bit. You know, if you watch me and stuff like that, I find that really um, fun. So yes, I do, I love speaking to new people. That you're obsessed with face fillers, etc. Interestingly, I think if I was obsessed, I'd, have a, I'd still have a lot more. I really enjoy it. I think it's really fun playing with your appearance. There was a point where I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than I do now. Well, actually it was just like a different amount. I'm a big believer in it. I don't really regret much, you know? Everything that I chose to do, I chose to do it at that time for a reason. Back when I was kinda, you know, a little bit more filled up, let's say, a little bit more. There's a lot more going on. I absolutely loved it. So I don't feel any negative feelings towards that. But saying that, I do actually really like where I'm at right now with my like fillers and stuff, like technically my cheeks have gone, they've dissolved by now, my chin has dissolved, my lips, my bottom lips got a bit of filler in it, but my top lips dissolved, like I really don't have that much. So I, I would say I enjoy it, I really love playing with my appearance, I think it's really fun, I think it's a huge confidence booster, if that's something that you feel would give you more confidence. Wait, let me just stick this last one. Oh, they're very out to the side, I like that. Oh, they're really good. These are the Tatty Lashes Badass. They're, that's probably like the heaviest lash I've worn in a long time. Oh, you don't like being approached in public. No shade. No, I, I, re I actually really enjoy it. I would way prefer someone just came straight up to me, but I am, I'm quite mean, right? And by mean, I say, if I can see someone obviously they've seen me or whatever, uh, I guess I just don't really think about me as like, I don't know. I don't know, I, I can't really understand why people get would get excited. Um, that sounds, I don't, I don't mean that in like a woe is me way, but I don't really understand how people could get as excited to see me. Oh, that sounds shite actually, that sounds mean. Basically, if I see someone that has seen me and say like they're getting excited or whatever, but they're being shy or like they're, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll they'll like tap their friend's arms and be like, oh my God, look, look, look. And what I'll do is I'll like sneak up behind them and just go like, just say hello. And then they're like, ah! like, I'm really sorry if I've done that to you. And then sometimes if people go, ah! I'll just do that back and I'll go, oh my God, it's you. And they're like, what? I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm just a bit of a wind up. Obviously everyone has bad days. There's been a couple of occasions where I've been out and about and um, I've not had a great day or I'm not having a good day. But I'm just honest, if someone comes up to me and says hi, I'll just say hi. I'll be like, oh my God, I'm having the worst day. I think as long as you're honest, then then it's all good. Oh, <laughs> right. So a lot of people think um, that I'm a happy, that I'm quite happy. My mom and dad are quite happy. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But someone's just said you grew up as a granola kid. No, Cocoa Pops, man, Cocoa Pops. Toast. It's so interesting hearing what people think about you. Obviously this isn't like, this is all quite nice stuff because it's because it's not anonymous. Am I heck doing any anonymous stuff? Ah, uh, someone said that you never have self-conscious slash feeling ugly days. Mostly because you're gorge. That's really sweet. No, nah, sometimes, sometimes, you know, don't love myself. I don't think I'm great at all. 
I think as well, I think a lot of the stuff that I like most about myself isn't my appearance, it's how I, what I'm like as a person and how I make my family feel and, but so like see when I've got a nice makeup on I'm like oh my god I'm kind of stunning today. Which I'm glad that I can say that about myself and I really hope that you guys can say that about yourself as well. I think that it's really good to have a little bit of self love but um, that being said, sometimes I'm like ugh that face again. <laughs> Someone said that you don't miss slash need beauty treatments as much as you thought you did. No man, I miss it so much. I miss it so much. I really cannot wait to get a massage. My back's not in a, in a great way. Uh, it sounds like I've just got like a bag of marbles in between my shoulder blades. I miss my facials. I think it's because it's another form of self-love, isn't it? Looking after yourself and feeling great. And not having that for a while, I was like, I feel so ugly <laughs> without all this stuff <laughs> but I think that's just more like how I feel about myself when I've got it all done there's so many good ones I'm going to do a bit of a quick fire right you got turned down by brands because of your thick Scottish accent no actually I, I don't think so as far as I know I actually wonder sometimes if being Scottish has at all helped me in my career but no I don't I really don't think so you didn't expect to be this successful when you started YouTube no, absolutely not. I never thought about it. I think at every stage of my life I felt very comfortable and very happy. Being a makeup artist was one of my, like, uh, uh, that's what I wanted to do. So I was happy. And when I started YouTube, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think that it would become my job. But I am so grateful and it is, it is honestly the best job in the world. I really love it. Someone said, you boast a lot. Uh, I think I could, I think no, I don't think so. I just know how, uh, I know how that looks and I try not, I really try not to be that person. So no, I think I'm proud of myself sometimes and I'll, I'll say when I'm proud of myself for something, but I don't know if that's the same as boasting. You would rather apologize for something you didn't do than keep fighting. Uh, yes. I've got a really weird habit, basically with fr with friendships as well, um, or, or situations, what, what will happen with me is I will slowly start to feel uncomfortable until it reaches a point and then that's me kind of done. I suppose it can come off quite harsh, I'll just stop because I know it's not good for me, it's not good for that, but like I just can't really do it anymore. Rather than drag something out, I would rather just let people say what they want, even though I know it's not true or say sorry, just so everything stops. Like I just want to live, like I just really want to live my best life at all times and see if something's really holding me back, I will do whatever I can to kind of get out of that situation and whether that be saying sorry or, you know, just being quiet when I really actually want to say my piece, I would much rather just be quiet. Apart from Jack, I make him say sorry. I like this makeup. I'm doing a nude lip by the way, <laughs> sorry. Well, it's kind of like a pinky nude. Oh yeah, exactly. Someone said, when you get mad, you're the type to ignore. Uh, yes. I'll just kind of disappear. I'll just disappear into thin air. Maybe it's not the best thing to do, actually. I would just rather do that than confront something head on sometimes when I know, if I know it's not going to go well. Although I would say it's always quite justified. I think I'm quite an understanding person. I'd like to think so. <laughs> Someone said your mum's a witch. No, she's not a witch. You were more interested in Jack than he was with you at first. Yes, I was obsessed. Big time. Oh, look at that. That's a math colour. Oh, I forgot how much I like these lipsticks. You don't get on with a lot of British makeup influence, British slash makeup influencers. Eh, uh, I wouldn't say so. I honestly, I do think I've got a really great friend group and I tend to enjoy the company of most people. Uh, in the industry, I would say. Or oh, you're very conscious of how your of your image and how people perceive you. Yeah, yeah, no. Maybe. Yes, in the way that I always want people to feel comfortable and, I don't know, kind of welcome. I, I, I like to think, I, I would like to be perceived as a warm person uh, and a bit of a safe place for people. No, in the way that I kind of do whatever I want um, and that I don't really care what people think. I don't want to be perceived as moany. Like, I could moan a lot. I do, I, like, sometimes I'd, I'm a bit moanier, but I don't want to be perceived as a moany person. So I'll keep that to myself. And you know, if some, like, if I'm not having a great day, am I gonna go on Instagram stories and moan about it? No, because it's boring. I would rather people feel uplifted and happy when they watch me, I guess. So yes, I suppose, in a way, I do care. I care about how people feel when they're watching me, is maybe the, the, the point I'm trying to make. Here we go, this, this is like the question at the start. You're uncomfortable with being perceived as rich. I guess a wee bit, uh, I don't know. I feel quite uncomfortable. 
So yes, I guess I am uncomfortable being perceived as rich. You don't always have clean makeup brushes. No. You're a bit of a brand snob. Not a bad thing, by the way. I guess so, a little bit. I am, um, like I said earlier, I've always really liked uh, luxury makeup, luxury skincare, kind of higher end clothes. I don't know where I got this from because my, my family are not like that at all, but I've always just liked nice things, I think. You love Indian food. Yes, I do love Indian food. You get bored with your appearance a lot. Yes, hence why this lockdown's a nightmare because I've looked like this for three months. I like to change my hair colour and that's probably a reason that I love tattoos and nails and makeup because you can change your appearance every single day if you want. I love piercings, I love enhancements. So yes, I guess I do get bored with my appearance. You're actually quite posh. No, I would not say I'm, I'm that I'm posh. I've got a posh Scottish accent, I guess, because we moved around a lot. My accent's not really Glaswegian, but no, I am not posh, I wouldn't say. You miss having bigger boobs? No, no, I'm very happy with them right now. Uh, I don't regret the first pair that I had, but I'm really happy with them just now. You don't always tell people what's sponsored or gifted. Uh, no, that's that's uh, illegal. I do always say. Uh, that's actually one thing that winds me up is when someone tries to tell me that something they think they think is something sponsored. Uh, if it's sponsored, I will tell you it's sponsored. And I think that's something that's trickled down from the kind of drama side of YouTube, that people like you know try and be sneaky with their sponsorships. No. Big believer in the law of attraction, absolutely. Uh, I've never read any books about it or anything like that, but I just, from past experience, know that when you put good things out, good things come. You're an empath. You feel deeply emotional when you see others upset or sad. Yes, absolutely. This kind of goes back to me being happy when people are happy. You know, Lu <laughs> you know Lewis Capaldi? No, I don't, unfortunately. Okay, last one. Oh my God, right, just as well. Uh, a lot of people think that I am a I'm bisexual or I was never interested in boys until I met Jack. No, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much a straight woman. You know, everyone's a little gay. Uh, and then last last one, you have something big that you're working on lined up for the future, but you can't tell us. Okay, guys, that's the end. You guys were really nice to me but I hope I answered some of your questions. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And I'm excited to answer them here for you, here for you, here today for you. I should have got my brushes ready and I did it. <laughs> I assume you fold your pants and pair your sock. I actually know I do do that thing. Someone said you're the sweetest person ever, and I can't go. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm. I, I hope you don't mind. I'm just firing through these. I want you to get to know me as best as you can in two seconds. <laughs> so although I can say that we definitely weren't wealthy, de <sighs> so. <laughs> oh wow! I really met. Look at that. That shit. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Pinky. I never talked. I never addressed this, Pinky. It's a nightmare. A nightmare.